Hey guys, I'm the one you lost. And have you ever wondered how you study? Or how you get better at art? Well, that was something I struggled with for years. I, I was constantly told, uh, just draw. Just draw, you'll get better. And to a degree, that kind of worked. But if you know how long I've been drawing, you'll, you'll be surprised when I took the initiative. So I've been drawing for probably around 15 years. Um, I, I started in middle school. I'm 29 now. Um, but I really only started getting better about six years ago. And that was because I learned that I need to make sure what I'm referencing and what I'm learning from is good. My, the big turning point for me in my art was the day I discovered Pixiv, when I started seeing professionals and how their stuff looked compared to mine. And then something happened. I learned the most important thing an artist can learn, in my personal opinion, and that is learning how to observe and compare to your own work. Observation and reflection is a huge deal when it comes to art along with the fundamentals. About six years ago, I learned how to really, really look at things that were better than me and how to apply it to my own work. I studied things like form, value, construction. I did um, studies on anatomy, even though still to this day, I still am trying to learn anatomy. So... The big thing you need to do whenever you're studying is to look at things like the negative space, the, the space in between what you're drawing. If you're able to measure the gaps between the things you draw and then compare it with the gaps in the reference you're using, you'll, you'll get a better idea of how far away and how long something is. Whenever you study anatomy, your goal is to learn the science or the uh, structure of everything around, basically around. All art is, is learning about real life and learning how to replicate it. And it's really cool when it comes to anime, because anime is just simplified realism. But the reason your art teacher for so many years is telling you learn realism, learn realism, learn realism, it's not because he thinks what you're doing is not worthwhile, even though there are some art teachers who don't like anime. The reality is, to simplify, you have to understand what it is you're working with. So that's the reason why it's important to have references, because you want references in real life, or at least things that are of quality. And that's the hardest part about being a beginner with artwork, is because everything looks like it's quality, but you don't know what actually is yet. For the longest time, I remember I looked back at some of my old things that I used as reference, and I'm like, wow, it's not as good as I remember it. And that is a weird reality of, um, of art is we, in the beginning, see everything as so much better than what we can do. So, my advice to you would be, if you're looking for quality references, especially in anime, you want to go to Pixiv, and you want to search the rankings. You will see some phenomenal artists. Then you will use these artists to compare and contrast to your work. And I want you to really look at things. I want you to, before you even pick up a brush or a pen, I want you to look, study, and ask yourself, how did they do that? In terms of color, why did they use these colors? Now, if you use the colors, I want you to ask, how is me using these colors going to help my artwork? A majority of what makes our artwork good or what makes us better is our ability to break down the things we see systematically and reconstruct them ourselves. I know this sounds simple. And once you get used to practicing it, it does get simple. But it's a matter of really, really buckling down and learning. And that's the hardest part. 
So that's my advice to you is learn to observe, learn to look in, in between the spaces of what you're drawing and really, really focus. So I've rambled on a bit about that and I realize it might just be a bit much, but if you will indulge me, I would like to give you, um, the most important thing to study first. And I know uh, other artists and teachers will disagree with me on this, but these are the places I think you should start. I think you should start learning form and perspective. Look up videos on YouTube on form and perspective. I can even recommend a few in the, in the comments or in the description of this video. And after form and shapes and construction... I want you to move on to little pieces of anatomy. Um, also do gesture drawings because they'll help you get to the point where you're much faster at breaking down a pose. But if you learn perspective and, con and form first, you will be able to almost break down anything. Then once you learn the nitty gritty of anatomy, you'll be able to measure everything yourself. It really is important to be able to break down what you see. And I attribute like 98% of what, what I've learned in the past just year and a half to getting better and better at breaking things down. So that really is my advice to you. And what I would like to take this time now to do is to say you can do it. I know it's going to seem like... It's hard, you're not getting anywhere, or you're not having fun. All I would suggest if you're not having fun learning art is to learn to love art first. Don't focus on the fact that your stuff doesn't look as good as the person that you're referencing or anything. Focus on, this was fun. I, this was a well, uh, just a wonderful use of my time. The, the worst thing you can do is worry about looking bad. Just take a moment to appreciate that you created something. It truly is a big deal. And we live in a world with AI where it can be done for you at this point. So the fact that you had the guts to pick up a pencil and say, I want to draw, is a huge deal, especially in today's world. And it doesn't matter if you're good or not. You are better than any of those people who use AI because you had the guts and the ability to say, I want to do this myself. And I have more respect for you than I will ever have for an engineer who, who presses a button and says, I made this. They didn't make anything, but you made something. And that is worth something. And I want you to remember that. You can get better. You will get better. Learn to have fun with it. It's more important that you have fun than you be perfect. We live in a complicated world now. Things are getting kind of weird. But the fact that you are trying to make art is a really worthwhile event venture. And I'm, I'm so proud of you. And for those of you who have been in my Discord server and have shared your work and have worried about what people think of you or your work, know that the fact that you even bothered to pick up a pencil is just huge in its own right. And I, I really respect you. I'm very proud of you. And thank you for sharing your work with me. It really does mean a lot. I love seeing people make artwork and I, it makes me feel like this, uh, this hobby or this job is worth something because you're worth something. I know it got a little mushy there, but I truly do believe it. Um, the fact that you're drawing now of all times in history is really worth something. Thank you. So we're approaching the end of this video. That's all I wanted to leave you with. Um, I know this is a bit um, different from my usual stuff, but 
I just wanted to uh, kind of give some encouragement and maybe give some guidelines on how to make uh, art. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Helps out a whole lot. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.